as you guys have probably noticed, we're not at home. Alex and I have come to Wales for my 32nd birthday, which is on Sunday. It's Saturday today. And really excited for my birthday. And we've come to this lovely staycation place, you know, uh, a yurt hideout in Wales. And I'm really, really happy with it. As you've probably seen, I've done a lot of footage of the place. And I'm probably gonna keep the video like the beginning. So it's gonna be lots of B-roll, calming music, just to document Alex and I stay this weekend. But I just thought I'd do a piece to camera now and again. Oh, that's much better, so much more comfortable on these lounges. Yeah, this staycation, it's just so much less admin than going abroad at the moment with COVID, or it was when we booked this uh, for my birthday. And it's really good, especially if you've got an ileostomy. And the reason why I say that is because if you've just got one, you may feel like, oh, I don't want to go full on camping yet. I need to get used to my bag. And this kind of holiday, this a bit like glamping, you know, you've got a fully working sink in there so I can change my bag without like any issues. Um, and the, but the toilet is a compostable toilet, so you use it and then you throw sawdust in, which I may fill up this weekend because, you know, having an ileostomy, you go to the loo a lot more, but it's not an issue. It doesn't actually smell that bad. You'd think it would, but the sawdust and the fact that we're in the fresh air seems to make it not an issue. If you've just got an ileostomy, this is kind of a perfect little retreat. You're, you know, you're out in the wilderness. We're in the middle of nowhere, uh, just somewhere in Wales near Carmarthen, and th there's no one around, like no one. It was a long drive, like on a really unsteady road. We've got a car park space. I can't even see my car. It's down that lane down there. We've just been chilling here. We could chill here and not see a soul for the whole weekend, but we are going to go out. And I'm going to document that and yeah, I'm going to have a really good day. So like the video if you liked it, if you're finding the intro relaxing, if you prefer that kind of thing, then you're going to like the rest because it's going to be much more like that. So without further ado, get back into the video. So we're back from Carmarthen where we did a treasure hunt and the sun has come out, the clouds have parted and I'm hoping that we get a really nice sunset this evening because it's been overcast and cloudy since we arrived yesterday and yeah, no, not many photos in Carmarthen, more videos for the, for the vlog but um, yeah, this, this looks like it's going to be a really nice evening. Mm. This little glass mug is lovely with its accompanying plate. Look how cute that is. But I'm very careful with this slate table because I don't want to smash it. 
I don't want to explain that to the uh, owners of the yurts. But yeah, we did we did a treasure hunt. Alex and I find them to be really interesting. We've, we feel like it gives you more to do in a town because if you go to a town, you might see, oh, there's a nice church and there's a nice building and there's a Marks and Spencer's and then there's an, like, you know, you, you, you don't really explore it as much because you, you know, it's just streets and, and uh, you don't really know what you're looking for unless you really heavily research it and you make your own trail. So to make things a little bit more exciting, and, and it, I think it's exciting, I think it's fun, uh, we do these little treasure trails. And you can win, I think it's like a hundred pounds or something if you you put into a draw, at the, if you win. Um, if you get the clues right, you put into a draw and you can win money. So it's a little bit of fun, and I'll link it down in the description if, if anybody's interested, because they do them for every town, like all over the place. And we've done a few now, it's been really nice. If you're still watching the video, thank you. Give it a like and share it with somebody and I will see you in the next clip.
Good morning everyone. It is the last day here at the yurt hideaway and I'm very sad. I don't want to say goodbye to this place. It's so lovely. Having your own private hot tub. It's just the best. Having the pizza oven. Just everything. A little skylight in the, in the yurt. Oh, absolutely brilliant. Coming out, seeing the morning dew, seeing the sun come through the, the trees. It was It was really, really nice. And last night, coming out about 10 half 10 because there's no one around us it's so private here I got to do some star photography and I was uh, quite pleased with how that came out I've never done it before I've done a lot of different types of photography and that one was I'm really proud of how that came out for the first time second time because I did it the night before and it came out bad <laughs> so yes this is the end of the trip um, I finished yesterday on that lovely scene of us walking towards the sun on the beach, but we didn't actually end the day there. We went to Amelia Earhart's uh, monument, we went and took some pictures of a lighthouse of a town I don't know, had some chips and curry sauce on the harbour, and I just didn't want to film it. Uh, it was my birthday yesterday and I just filmed the morning, got tired from all the walking and things, and thought, you know what, I'll take some photos for the rest of my evening, but I don't need to film it all. So I hope you like this type of video where I've, you know, used video to tell the story instead of just talking to the camera as much and try to make it more chill and relaxing. And if you liked it, give it a like, comment below, tell me, and I'll make more of my videos this style. So thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.